Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Subnautica Below Zero, a game that I have had my eye on for actually not very long, not gonna lie. Uh, I only played the old, well not an old, like the first Subnautica game not too long ago. I think I got it back when it was free from, um, was it Epic Games, I think, did a little promotion thing where you could get Subnautica for free. So that's when I actually played Subnautica for the absolute first time. And so I didn't really get to have the good old... You know, the Subnautica experience, you know what I'm talking about, right? Where you, you go into the game, you know absolutely nothing, alright? You go out, you know nothing, you try to explore and figure out everything. Unfortunately, I kind of had everything spoiled for me before I played Subnautica, because I had such an interest in the game that I went up and looked it up myself. So this time, we're hoping that with an absolute fresh start, I have never seen anything from Below Zero before. I'm really excited to check this out, so we're just going to hit the play button. It's going to take a little while to uh, load in, and I realize the frame rate is not looking fantastic, but trust me, I have done so many logistics, so many... Settings changes that I can guarantee you it will look at least almost okay at 60 FPS. Hopefully. Alright. It's been it's been kind of alright. I haven't tested it with any CPU usage from streaming yet, but it should be pretty much alright. Anyways, for those of you who have never played a Subnautica game, which I kind of doubt if you are looking for Subnautica Below Zero and you somehow find me somewhere on YouTube, that means you've probably been uh, looking for Subnautica Below Zero, and you've played Subnautica before, and you just want to see this game because, I don't know, it's just early access, it did come out a couple days ago, and I really wanted to get my hands on it, so I just got it myself. So, hopefully, everything works out just fine. We're not entirely sure what's going on in this scenario. We know that it's cold, we know that there's that big, like, weird worm thing that has, like, a heated, I don't even know what to, what to call it, but, like, it's like a horn, and it's super heated and, like, breaks the ice and stuff. I think that's really cool that uh, they came up with such a creative idea. And anything else I know about the game? I mean, I know it's set on the same planet as, uh, oh god, I'm not gonna remember the name of it. Yeah, I'm not gonna remember the name of it. I'm pretty sure it's like a string of numbers and like a letter in there somewhere. But anyways, same planet from Subnautica 1. Basically, the dude from Subnautica 1 pretty much escaped. And they sent a whole bunch of people over to come and study it, because we disabled the weapon, I'm pretty sure. So we didn't really get that whole experience, at least I didn't, myself. Uh, but hopefully we can figure out what's going on in Subnautica Below Zero and we can have a whole lot of fun. Now, the very beginning here, uh, I'm just sort of testing out a, a few things, and hopefully the first half hour of uh, gameplay holds up. Usually I go with some sort of, like, whole entire hour thing, but I think this time we're going to go with a half hour, make sure everything's working fine, and if so, then we are totally cool to keep on going. Alrighty then. And good morning, uh, I'm pretty sure I know the controls, because I did play regular old uh, Subnautica. I, I did sort of explore this area a little bit so I can check out what the frame rates are looking like, when I'm running it at what I'm gonna refer to as like the optimized looking thing. So here we have the, this little fish tank. I want to actually explore. I want to like figure out Subnautica universe again in my in my own eyes. Cause like oh, this game is so it's so fantastic. It's just the detail they put into it. It's such a beautiful game. So I actually want to check it out myself. We have a little uh, portrait of like an alien creature that's probably from Subnautica one. I don't exactly remember what this one is, but a couple of plants down there. Okay, another plant there. Oh, did we pick this up? Oh, what was that? Oh, we can sit here. Oh, okay, it's a little bench. Cool. F8 for report bugs and feedbacks. Mm, who knows? It's still in early access. We might have to do that at some point. We have a very giant. Is that just an eye? Or what's it called? Um, the peepers or something. It's like a giant peeper, maybe. Oh, that's not an eye, is it? It's a hole. That's a hole in this fish. Hold on. That's the eye right there. Like a little thing there. So this is like literally just a hole in this fish. Okay, that's a little bit odd. We have a scuba deer, uh, scuba gear here. Okay, cool. The plant here. Oh, the little penguins. Oh my god, I like these penguins. Although the teeth are really, really horrifying. I saw on the trailer and on the other uh, sort of the front of the game. So I'm assuming, is this me? This might be me. It's like a self portrait. It looks like it might be. It looks generally like same outfit, same colors, same skin tone. Okay, I think this is me. Okay. Uh, little things here. Aquarium, we just check out. Okay, let's go outside and see uh, what's going on around here. Alrighty then. Oh, okay. I did look around this area a little bit, but I didn't really explore it. I just wanted to see how things look at a distance and from up close. Alright, so what is this? Remember, information leading to the activation of alien technologies is rewarded with automatic rights buyout and a 10,000 credit bonus. Okay. Hmm. Uh, research or a uh, certain research of cultural or historical value is not included in the bonus scheme. Buyout still applies. Okay. So you're saying that anything that's like... I'm pretty sure like scientific information would have a price. Especially when it's a new planet like this. Like the, the amount of unique life that has up here. Oh my god. Whew. It's actually breathtaking. I imagine they're going to add a little bit of something other than the mountains there because they just look a little bit bare. But then again, it would kind of make sense. It's just snow everywhere. Like I feel like I just walked outside of my room. 
Alright, outside my house, I guess. Just absolute snow and ice everywhere. Alrighty then. Uh, look over here. Oh, we got another PDA. Okay. That a download task list. Alright, let's check out what our tasks are. Uh, let's take a look at this. Robin Goodall, Altera Applicant. Or Application. That's me, I suppose. My name is Robin Goodall. Interviewer, why have you applied for this role? Robin, everyone's talking about uh, 4546B. Okay, that's the name of this planet, apparently. Uh, who hasn't applied? Maybe Jeffries. Uh, no, Jeffrey signed on last week. Why this assignment? The last time we found sen sentient alien life was Strader 6, 17 years ago. It's been fun, but frankly, I'm bored, and you have telepathic squid. Oh, yes, that is the um, the Emperor... Oh, I'm going to remember the name at some point. But uh, the Emperor guy, or girl, you know, that one. Uh, interviewer, I should tell you that rumors about spacefaring aliens on the planet are rumors. If that's why you're here, you'll be disappointed. I don't think that's how that works, I mean... Oh, spacefaring aliens. Well, they did kind of manage to create a giant gun that uses alien energy and shoots down ships, so I do I do maybe think that's possible that there could be spacefaring aliens on here. That's just my own hypothesis. Um, I'm a xenolinguist. I have no idea what that means, but I assume it's something to do with like talking to things in other languages. I don't know. Spacefaring aliens are our holy grail. I want it, but I don't expect to get it. What qualifies you for this position? There are creatures out there that you couldn't imagine, let alone understand. Do you know how I talk to them? I think you correlate responses against stimuli, and I do what they do. If they bathe in liquid nitrogen and talk with their feet, I put on a coat and pull out a handstand. But this recruitment process, it's the most alien of all. So I'm trying to correlate my responses here. I want us to understand each other. Put me on that planet. I'll talk with the fish for you. Hmm. Okay. Thank you, Miss Goodall. Sandra. Sandra? Sandra will show you out. Sandra! Okay. Taskless. I suppose that was a little like a, a dialogue of uh, the entire... Uh, uh, whatever you call it. It's a transcript, that's what it's called. Yeah. Task list. Alright. Uh, harvest edibles from grow beds and plant new seed. To do. Uh, translate symbols on alien artifacts 7 and 10 in progress. Okay, so we've already found some alien artifacts. Interesting. Send completed research samples to Vesper via rocket. Done. Okay. Continue investigation of force field mechanisms and research uh, at research site 0, which I'm assuming is this one. In progress. Send weekly status report in progress. I don't know how you do this in progress. I mean, you just sort of you just do it every week. Varnish prawn suits to do. I don't know what varnish means. Probably like, make it look ready to, uh, for action, maybe. Repair the weather station to do. Uh, perform monthly patrol of remote installations to do. So it seems we have a lot of things to do here, huh? Test weather penging. Penging? Okay, so I guess those are like the, the penguins. Hold on. Uh, are the penging flock are comfortable enough to swim with humans. I'm assuming those are the penguins. It just sounds similar to name. It's not quite penguins, but they look kind of like penguins. Done. Yes. Oh, okay. So maybe if we find a couple of these, we can fly with them. They'll be nice. Or uh, we can swim through the water. Fly through the water. That's what they do, basically. Penguins fly through the water. Induct new support personnel to do. Okay. Oh, wrong button. Okay. Actually, any more docs we should take a look at? Work docs. Oh, God. Yes, we have a lot of things to look at here. Ooh, I don't want to look at this all on my own time, because this is a lot of stuff here. Uh, blueprint license. Okay, I don't care about that much as much. Uh, that stuff as much. All right, we are Robin Goodall, age 37, job xenolinguist. Okay. Assignment, uh, bu bu Mother deceased. Oh, no, that's not good. Siblings, Sam Goodall and Altera Management. Okay. bu 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 It's a lot of backstory. Okay, it's all, It's only in, uh... It's only in early access, but I already see a lot of things here. Okay, cool. Blueprints, equipment, air pumps. Because we're giving a couple things off the bat, which is nice. Air pump, uh, protection suit... Handheld scanner, repair tool. Okay, that's cool. That's good. Uh, aquarium fabricator, habitat builder, solar panel. It's all the basic stuff from uh, from regular Subnautica, I believe. Sea glide. Okay, we aren't given the uh, sea moth though. Okay, let's figure where uh, figure out where we might want to get one of those. Here's the green. Oh, can I walk in here? Thank you. Alrighty. Wait. I hear birds. I don't see any birds. Are the birds in here? Wait. Is that a speaker? Is this projecting bird noises? Does that help the plants grow or something? I wouldn't imagine so. Sounds like it might be. But again, I have absolutely no idea. It sounds like there are monkeys in here. It sounds like a literal rainforest. Like a jungle, but there's just a couple of plants in here. It's a little bit odd, but okay. We have a locker here. We can't open it, though. It sucks a little bit. Okay, look at what's in here. Uh, what is that? That is a marble melon and a... Oh god, what are these things called? I forget. They grow on trees, I believe. I've really planted one of those when I played uh, the first Subnautica. I remember it grows on a tree. Alrighty then. Uh, anything else? I think that's basically all we can do for... Uh, maybe we can walk outside there, but I want to explore the rest of the base first. Can we run around? Okay, yes we can. Cool. Little trash bin. Uh, same thing that's over there. 
cool. Um, little vending machine here. Of course, you got to have your little vending machines, even if it's personal research station, because of course that makes 100% sense. It's not like you need to give them food to like survive or anything, because it's like in your own personal interest. But yeah, you know, get some money out of them as well. Uh, another little aquarium. I love these aquariums actually. They look really cool. It's that little bladder fish in there. You got a couple peepers. Peepers look like a different color though. This one's like a. Oh, I don't remember what those things are called. Yeah, these peepers. Oh, they look a different color. I like these colors actually. They look really nice. There's that one, uh, which I never remember the name of because, like, kind of irrelevant unless you just want to eat them. Uh, anything else around here? We've got a little. I don't know. I mean, contained sand. Nothing else really to it. A whole bunch of tech in here. I really love the detail that I have in this area. Really, really like the detail. Hopefully, we get to, like, stay here for a while. Because I wouldn't mind staying here for a while. We've got our own bed. we got, like, a whole bunch of stuff. Okay. Ecosystem. we got the giant... Oh, the emperor produces, uh, produces enzymes, which turn to the peepers. Okay, the peepers deliver the enzyme. The ecosystem. The emperor relies on the ecosystem for food chain. Okay. Just a little, tiny little food chain there with uh, very, very well-drawn arrows there. Very, very well-drawn. Uh, we've got a couple of... I don't even know what these are. They look like they might be incubators. Oh, what are they called? I have poor uh, textures on, but it says two sample... Or just sample, but like backwards S maybe? Or just two ample? Two sample? I don't know what it's supposed to be, but okay. And, I mean, it's not really much else to look at in here. Honestly. I think we're just going to take a walk outside, actually. Let's go through the main entrance. I feel like uh, we're supposed to go through this one. Alright. Let's take a look at outside and see how nice it looks. Oh, and it does look very nice indeed. Okay. I am liking this already. What is this stuff? Oh, we've got a little container that's like sea glider in there. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. Station Zero, oh. this is Vesper. Come in. Hi, Sam. We lost contact with Jeffries up at the research site. Okay, I'll check it out. Understood. You know, the formal bit's cute, but we've shared a womb. Would it kill your career to act like we'd met before? Robin, you know these conversations are monitored. I don't care who knows it's cute. I've been here two weeks. We've hardly spoken. Because you went straight to the planet. Find Jeffries. Chat later. Yes, Mom. I'm grinning so much because they actually put voice acting in. And I realized there was voice acting in the other game, but this is this is on a whole nother level. This is with the characters. This character this is like an actual character story. Oh, there's the uh what you call it right up there. Vesper, I think. That's what that is. Alright, very interesting. I like this. I like this so far. We've got uh voice acting with all the characters. Hopefully that Jeffrey's guy has voice acting as well. If we ever find him. I don't know where he is. Maybe it's like a, a story where we go and we go and save someone from uh wherever they are. Look at these. These are the um prawn suits, I believe. This one's losing a couple arms, though. I wonder what happened to this guy. It doesn't look like he went, uh... Doesn't look like very good things happened. This is probably the one we're supposed to fix, I think? Yeah, probably. Hmm, okay. There's a couple of things over here. A couple of, like, pods. Okay. Alright, so I think, we, I think we fully explore this vase. I don't, I don't think... Do we have uh, another thing to look at? Work doc, okay. Altera employee profile. Sam Goodall. Okay, so that's the, uh... That's the person up there on the Vesper. Anyways, hold on. How old are we? We are... All right, that is uh, Sam Goodall. Sam Goodall is 48, and we are... Hold on. Uh, Robin Goodall, 37. Okay, so she's like 11 years old to Venice. Okay. All right, where do we go? I have no idea where I'm... I don't know what I'm, what I'm doing. Got some weird-looking... What are those plants over there? They're moving. Most plants don't move like that. That's a little bit weird. Okay. Uh, let's take a look at what we got over here. Oh, we got also ice over here, so I suppose this isn't like the best area to go. Oh, maybe it's not over there. Doesn't look. Whoa. We we doing okay here? Okay. Let's calm down here. Ah, nice. This is coming. Ah, kind of want to, so I can kind of take this stuff off him or like. Uh, I think I think we might. Are we gonna need this right now? I don't think we are. I mean, it seems like everything's fine. I don't think we're gonna need it. Now, what's this? Nothing I can check out. Okay. We don't have like a scanner or anything, so we can't just like walk around. Are we supposed to be given a scanner? Like, are we supposed to make one? So it's really different from like regular Subnautica. The first Subnautica, usually like, first couple of seconds, something terrible happens, but so far everything's kind of fine. Okay. Well, uh, let's go search with, uh, for Jeffries, I believe his name was. I don't know where he went, but um, let's check him out. Love the detail. Oh, it's a nice looking plant there. Looks like it should like grow under water because the way it like blows in the wind it looks like it's blowing in water, but okay. Uh oh, I feel my frames dropping a little bit. Okay. Are you looking at what are you, what are you looking at? What are you, what are you look Huh? 
What are you? Oh, you're. It's really. What are you gonna do, huh? What are you gonna do? Oh my god. Okay, that's what you're gonna do. Stay, stay away. Stay, get, get away from here. Get, get away from me. Oh my god. It's terrifying. It's literally. Oh my god. Okay, yeah, that's, that's actually kind of terrifying then. Oh my god. There's so many of them too. Two right here. Oh, yeah, stay away. So many of them. These goddamn things. I might actually want to put on motion blur, even though I don't really like motion blur. It might uh, smooth out a couple of the frames of moving. Where are my, where are my graphics? Graphics are. Uh, where is it? Motion blur? Oh, uh, that one. Yes, okay. Motion blur might it might uh, keep a little th a couple of things looking more smooth as we move along here. I think it's what motion blur is mostly for, so you don't notice the frame drops as much. It does its job very well, oh, pretty pretty well, honestly. Okay, ooh, oh, I like the reflections. Okay, even my less than optimal, or pretty much as optimal as I can get them, frame settings. This is looking pretty nice. Okay. Okay, this this motion is actually making me sick. Hold on, we gotta take we gotta turn this off. Yeah, turn that off. We might wanna change a couple other settings here so we can make things looking alright. I think it's the best we could do for now. We can change texture settings later on, but okay. Alrighty then. Very, very nice looking uh, little ice spikes here, I guess. A couple of lamps here. I'm pretty sure this is the way to go. Like I actually have no idea what I'm doing here. I'm just hoping this looks like it's almost the right place to, to look. Ooh, I like the way that everything reflects off the glass. Did I, do I have like high quality reflections on? I better not. Well, it looks like I do, but I better not. So that would be a ridiculously bad idea. Well, let me check my graphics one more time. Water quality is high. I do want to keep that on high because it just looks so nice. Uh, anything else? Uh, NDA leasing is pretty much off. Water quality won't make any difference. Uh, it's just texture quality, which you can only change from the setting uh, menu. So, whoa. How'd you know my name? Oh. I come in peace. Sam, the building okay. just Okay. Okay. It's to me. Are you safe? It's never done that before. I'm fine. Uh. No sign of Jeffries. I've got an electrical storm on the sensors. Oh. That doesn't sound good. I think it's already here. Oh, that's not. That's not good. Mm -hmm. Sam. Damn it. Every time Subnautica. It's gotta be like a horrific event, doesn't it? I lit I called it earlier. I called it earlier when I said when I said Subnautica usually starts off with something terrible happened. It just wasn't the first three seconds this time. It was the, like the next three seconds. My bad, okay. Let's uh, let's look at the PDA though, because I don't think like something's gonna happen yet. Okay, uh, during the occupation of 4546B, the mysterious race of a, uh, of spacefaring aliens we refer to as the Almanac, oh, they have a name now, okay, selected a number of sites around the planet at which to build their vast facilities. While the focus of their mission to save their kind from the bacterium was the Emperor specimen contained at the primary containment facility, okay, their other installations served as a variety of precautionary and support rules, okay. Uh, resource site zero, a known alien facility, while Zero Sector contains a number of now familiar alien sanctuaries, the alien facility in close proximity to the main research station remains one of the few whose purpose we have yet to discover. This will be the focus of our endeavors in Zero Sector. What we know, frozen beneath this ice hundred years ago, the facility lays dormant to this day. We have progressed only through the first force field, gaining access to the antechamber, where a combination lock of a type we don't understand prevents further exploration. Whatever is inside, it is protected more thoroughly than anything else we have encountered. Oh, that's the wrong button. That one. Okay, so uh, you guys got a couple secrets hiding in here, I suppose. Don't really want to get too close, because I think these, these things actually do hurt you. Oh. I don't have a tablet, though. Can I... Is there a tablet nearby? Can I, like, throw a tablet in there? Doesn't look like it. I think it would be kind of clearly obvious if we could pick up a tablet and just throw it in there. Okay. You know what? I think we're gonna I think we're gonna make our, our way back and hopefully not get caught in the storm. I wanna check what's over here actually. Whoa. Whoa, this is an entire another area. Am I supposed to be here? Probably not. Let's check it out. Nothing too interesting. Okay. Uh that was literally kinda useless. Sure. Sure, yes. Sure. Cool. 
We're just gonna leave this behind and maybe come back later uh, if we ever find a tablet. Let's go home and make sure we're, we're safe. Oh, that storm's already here. Hopefully we can... Whoa! Okay. Change of plans, maybe. I really wish a, a rock crushed this disturbing-looking thing instead of my way out. Uh, well, this, that's a bit of an issue. How am I supposed to... Can I... Am I... I don't think I'm supposed to go here, and this thing really freaks me out. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think I think we're just gonna have to sway out. Sylvester so up there. Okay, yeah, you're doing fine, but I'm down here really having a couple issues here. I don't even have my gear with me. What am I supposed to do? Well, do I have my gear with me? Well, I have flippers. Maybe I do have my gear with me. Do I have a helmet or anything? Can I check my Can I check my thing? I don't see a helmet. That's kind of worrying. Well, I don't see a suit either, but clearly I'm wearing one, so I don't know. Well, let's keep walking along, I suppose. For a second, I was actually like afraid to walk into, the, like, drop into this ice, but then I remembered everything's so damn cold that I doubt anything's actually gonna happen here. What I find really interesting is these like weird, like these these look like they're like ripples that just sort of froze there. But I don't know how that works. How does that work? Like these are different heights of water that just froze there. And since they're like even, that means they would have like frozen at the same time. Or am I wrong? How do these things froze, freeze in place like this? I, don't, I have no idea. I can understand like icicles and stuff. These ones are just weird. I have no idea. Why they all got cracks in them? Oh, I'm so confused. They're like red too. I mean, it's because like it's supposed to be from the sunlight, but like I have no idea, honestly. Okay. I guess we're gonna make our line, uh, our way along here. No, oh, there's our base. Okay, we should be fine. Just make our way back. Let's actually uh, pick up the pace. I don't think. Oh. Okay. That was like anticlimactic and super climactic at the same time. But uh, excuse me, what? I do, you don't even hear anything. It just sort of like, whoop, and just like comes over. <laughs> what? Oh, and there goes, there goes the ice, and there goes the ladder. Okay. Well, this is this is the uh, this is the true Subnautica beginning here. I guess. I guess this is the way it's going to be. That can I jump down? Okay, thank you. Do I just need to go? Oh, okay. Okay, I do have my helmet. That's that has become apparent to me now. I thought I was gonna jump on some ice, maybe. Okay, is is it too cold? Like I imagine this would be really, really cold water. Uh, I maybe our suits like well and like good enough to protect your us, maybe. Is no longer safe, Whoa. And your PDA has rebooted oh, well, there's a little thing there. Be advised, high wind speed we are. Uh... Lethal exposure in four minutes. Wow. Okay. I suppose that means we uh, we figured out how to how to begin here. Where's this plant? Hello, an oxygen. Is this an oxygen plant? Please be an oxygen plant. Oh, <gasps> okay, nice. Good, good. Okay, so we were, we definitely weren't gonna make it out of there if we didn't get that. Okay, cool. What are you? What is this? Just random plants? Okay, I don't want to waste my oxygen. I want to get to the surface for before we do anything here. You guys are just cool looking plants. Okay. Let's uh let's get some oxygen here. Ooh, okay. Are we, uh, are we out of here? No, we're not. It's just like a little hole. Okay. So where are we supposed to go? Oh, there's an exit. Out into the, the wilderness, though. Are we gonna get anything from our base, or are we just gonna, like, chill here? Because this isn't, this isn't, like, a, a crash anymore. Like, we can't just, like, find things laying around. So I don't know how we're gonna... Oh! <gasps> Penguins! That's what those things are called, right? Woo. Is everything good around here? Do we have like a temperature? Like, is it, I mean, I imagine there would be like a temperature system here. New creature discovered. Let's get the bladder fish, uh, though, because this would be important. I don't know how we're gonna craft anything, but at least we're gonna like take it, so we can get some water. And maybe like a couple of, of peepers, because they're good to eat, I think. If we have peepers, we have peepers right now. I can't oh. be. I'm out in open water. Stay where you are. I'm sending a rescue shuttle. No, I'm okay. 
I just are you shelter. okay? Are you though? Fine, I'm sending a temporary habitat instead. Look up. Thank you, Sam. It's a grab trap. Get there. Okay. Oh, okay. What's this? Okay, it's coming down. It is a uh, that pod, I believe. Okay. And uh, we're gonna grab a couple of these. Uh, get back here. Eh. There we go. The eye eyes. That's the most unoriginal name ever. It's literally just an entire eye. Uh, now I'm really conf uh, like really confused, a little bit curious. So why is this grab trap, grab trap uh, fragment here? When how did it, how did it get there? Someone just like throw it out. They're just like yeah, let's just leave this here. Because it wasn't any crash. We just sort of like got our base covered in an avalanche, which maybe we can clear out at some point. It's not right now. Um, can we step on these? Oh, maybe we can. Maybe we can't. I don't think we can. Yeah, I don't think we're meant to be able to walk on on these, or are we? No, I don't believe so. It doesn't look like it. Okay. Where's that? Uh, where's that thing that's just supposed to fall? Where is that? Oh. I just dropped into the water all the way over there. That sucks. Okay, uh, let's let's go check it out, I guess. Okay, what's the what's the thing to like drop whatever you're holding? Not drop, but like, you know. Okay, it's E, I guess. Well, let's go underwater and check it out. Oh, it's an underwater base this time, instead of a floating one. Oh, okay, that's interesting. Drop down here. Alright, let's uh swim in. Oh, solar panel's there. Swimming from the top, maybe? No. Swimming from the side? Oh, yes. Okay, from the side. Just, like, exit like that. Okay, so no animation. Just goes. Okay. Oh, yeah, Jeffries. Forgot about that guy. Yikes. Hmm. Might have forgotten about that one. Might have forgotten about him. Make something to eat. Get equipped. I'll have answers by then. Will do. Okay. Well, uh, let's open up this. Whoa, we got a lot of things we can make here. Let's check out uh, what we can do here. Fiber mesh, silicone, and glass basic things. Oh, creep vines have a, uh, a red color instead of a yellow one. Okay. Electronics, we got some copper wire, some batteries, which require ribbon plants now. Okay, things are changing up a little bit here. Quartz is the same, but uh, ribbon plants is a new. Get some water out here. We get all filter water. Oop, there we go. Enough water to keep ourselves going. We're going to want to uh, cook up one of these guys here. Hopefully he'll be a good enough meal for right now. So I'm hoping. Alright, let's take a look. Uh, let's tab. Yes, that one. We eat him and it's only 18 food. Okay, we're going to have to get a little bit more food here. Uh, let's exit the base and look for a couple more guys to grab. So, let's grab you. Oh, there we go. Whoa, what are you? Whoa. What? A little bit afraid of you. Not going to lie. I don't know what you are. Uh, bladder fish, we don't need that right now. It'd be nice to grab, but we don't need to- Oh, what are you? What are you? What are you? What are you? Oh, are you a peeper? Come back here. Oh my god, he's fast. He's really fast. Grab one of these guys. Oh, oh he's too fast. Okay. Grab one of you. I know you're in a swarm, so I can't actually grab any of you individually. Can I grab you? Oh my god, why is he so fast? He's so fast, I can't grab him. Oxygen. <gasps> Oxygen. Okay, yeah, we're fine. Okay. We're, f we're cool. We're fine. We're chilling. You know? Below zero. Chilling. Get it? Because that, that's, that's a terrible joke. Oh, okay. Hoop fish. Hoop fish and a boomerang. Okay, let's uh, cook those guys up. Get a good old snack going. Oh, I don't think that actually has a texture. Well, it is early access. That's fine. Uh, cooked hoop fish. Munch munch. Cooked boomerang. Munch munch. And we're going to keep this boomerang on us, actually. Because it's not going to rot or anything. It's still alive, technically. We have a good amount of filter water, but we got like literally nothing on us. Like we got literally nothing. I mean, like literally, literally nothing. Okay. Equipment. Fins of silicone rubber. That'd be nice. Titanium and fiber mesh. Okay, let's go with the basics. Let's get the silicone rubber and a titanium. Silicone rubber is made from those. Uh, what do you call them? Creep vines. Those ones over here. Okay. Let's grab some stuff from creep vines. Make our way out to uh, the very, very beginning. Beginning of uh, the Subnautica universe always starts with creep vines. Oh, they actually look. They actually look really nice. I like this color a lot, a lot better than the uh, previous ones. Let's actually, head up to the surface real quick so we can get oxygen and come back down. I'm not seeing any uh, creep vine seeds though. That's the only thing I'm worried about. I don't see any seeds. Are they, they, are they like attached to the bottom or something? Like these creep vines are clearly different, but I don't. I do have my my worries. I don't see any seeds like literally on any of these. That could be a problem. 
Oh, okay, so this is our, our creep vine here, but then we have like the big ones. The big creep vines where we get the uh, seed clusters, okay. So the small creep vines and the big ones, okay. That's, uh, that's cool. I really, really like the big one though, it looks very nice. What do we have here? We have four, that should be enough for some things. I'm gonna grab like, maybe two more just in case. Or are you guys like are you guys like the the new the new guys that like try to kill you or something? Like I hope not, because you guys look a little bit terrifying actually. Just like the way you swim. It's just creepy. Oh, you seem to be eating things, so you're definitely carnivore. Hopefully you're just not gonna try and eat me though. Gonna keep my distance away from you guys, although you seem pretty much docile towards me, just not other fish. Hmm. Alright then, let's hop inside our base and uh Get some of the basics going here. We didn't actually grab any titanium. Let's uh, actually do that real quick. A couple of rocks here. Some limestone outcrops. Okay, so everything's basically the same. As far as I can tell, as regular uh, Subnautica. The only difference is that, first of all, they just got random things scattered here. I don't even know why, but they just got them, like, chilling about. Um, all, like, the resources are pretty much the same so far. Except the, uh, the creep vines look a little bit different. I'm definitely going to be optimizing my, my frame rate when we get back here in a little while. But, uh, right now I think we're pretty much fine. Oh, other way. We only have one entrance. Or do we have two? Only one. Okay. Alrighty then. Uh, what are we going to need here? Fabricator. Get me some silicone rubber, please. If we get a couple more of these, we can get ourselves the, uh, fins. Actually, I think we make two silicone rubber from one thing. Just fine here. Uh, let's get another silicone rubber. Just real quick. Equipment, get some fins going. Nice. All right, off to a good start so far. The fins already okay. Automatically put on us, which is good. Let's get the rest of our creep vine seeds stored in there. I'll just right click to move them. Maybe it's not okay. I suppose it wouldn't be. Uh, all right, and sir, so, let's little survival knife. You know, got to do the the default. You know, make ourselves look cool to to ourselves, I guess. Spin, spin the knife around. Actually, what am I doing going outside? I don't even know what my objective is right now. Uh, let me go back inside and like think about things. So let's open up our uh, data bank. Okay. Let's actually look at emergency. Um, I'm pretty sure we, we did just fine. But uh, Arctic Survival Guide. Okay, employees working on the surface in cold weather climates are advised to take additional precautions for their safety. That makes sense. High winds can result in rapid onset of hypothermia. Keep an eye out for natural shelter or restorative hot springs. Okay, that'd be interesting to look at. You never know how long you'll be away from home base. Remember to pack a lunch. A toasty hot beverage always feels good when working in sub-zero conditions. That is true. I can tell you that right now. It is very, very nice. Always dress appropriately for the mission. Investing in Altera cold suit is certain to pay dividends where your survival is concerned. Okay. When in doubt, don't go out. Well, I am in doubt, and I'm definitely going out. Travel checklist. Retreat to a safe environment. Okay, check. We're good. Administer first aid if required. Yes, we're pretty much fine. In fact, we're so healthy, we're over healthy. I don't know how that works, but we're good. Broadcast a uh, distress si signal. We did that. We talked to our sister. Retrieve emergency supplies if available. Well, we don't have any, but, you know, we have this area, which is cool. Survey the environment for threats and resources. We did a little bit of that. We found some creep vines and a couple of uh, titanium resources and stuff. Find or construct a reliable habitat. Well, we're pretty much good for right now. Uh, look at other survivors using line of sight or the radio. Maintain physical or psychological health until a rescue. Okay. I wonder if that actually has a, uh, a role to play in this psychological and mental health. That might might be. 20 h 2 Might as well drink it right now. But, uh, yeah, let's go for that suit. It says something about that suit, but I don't think we can make that right now. Uh, we need some fiber mesh and some titanium. Okay, so two creep vine samples and one piece of titanium to get the standard tank. That's not what I wanted. I wanted to leave. Thank you. Alrighty, let's uh, head back over to those creep vines, if we can remember where they were. I think they're over here. Yeah, okay. Here we are. Hopefully they have a little bit of titanium near them. Oh yeah, right there. Or uh, what's hopefully titanium. We don't actually know yet. Good, good old smack right there. Titanium, beautiful. Good old smack. Copper, okay. Good, good. Uh, two more creep vine samples, so we should be good. A little bit of quartz, because why not? I believe we could make something with quartz. So, uh, might as well just grab it. Let's go to the surface, actually. We don't have enough time to, to reach our little base there. And then we go back down, and we should be absolutely fine. These fins really do help out a little bit. 15%. It's, uh, it's a good number. 
Alright, let's see what we can make here. We're holding this like a gun. <laughs> it's crazy. Alrighty, uh, fiber mesh. There we go. And with that we can make, what is that? Standard O-Tape tank. There we go. Alright, nice. Very good. Ooh, new blueprint synthesized a beacon. Okay. Waterproof locker. Okay. We can make a beacon, though. Where's that? Tools, maybe? Pathfinder. Scanner. Oh, we don't want to make a scanner, don't we? Yes, we do. Actually, can we make a scanner right now? I do want to find out. Copper wire. What does a battery take? Ribbon plants. And copper ore. What did I make the wire again? No clue. Why did I make the wire? I thought batteries needed wire, but I actually don't need it. Uh, I actually don't need it at all, which sucks. Okay. We'll, uh, we'll keep it in here for safekeeping, but we're going to have to go out and find a little bit more copper, I think. Let me check my timing. 36 minutes. Okay, I think we actually have to put a little bit of cut in here right here so I can uh, optimize things and come back. We don't want to have all this like below 50 sort of frames thing happening all the time. So I actually got to put a cut in here. I hope you guys enjoyed watching, and I will be back for some more Subnautica Below Zero in the near future. So this is Corbett signing off. I'm hoping you had a fantastic day, and as always, I'll see you next time.